Today I'm going to demonstrate my new um, marking gauge, if that's the best way to describe it. You can see on here one that I've already done. It's got a line across here that lines up perfectly with here. In other words, it's parallel. That one is parallel to this one. And I've got my five marks perfectly in place for doing my off-centre turning. This is how I do it. So I've just arrived this today. Peter Tretz made this for me. He's done a fantastic job yet again. There's your empty block. Just left that in there so you can see how it all works. We've got a um, a slider here, we've got um, uh, a, what do you call it? a blade I suppose along there, not too sharp, and a blade along there as well for doing the marking out with. So what I want to do is make sure I mark down the um, correct side of the wood. So what I want is the bobbly bits that you can see on there, I want those at the edges so that I get it in the right position. Rest that against the angle iron, like this at the back, drop this down, and what the plan is, is to make, like I said, a mark at each end of the piece of wood. So I'll give it a good bash. Till I get used to this, I'm hitting it probably more hard than I need to do, or harder than I really need to do. Take that out there. I don't know if you can see that there in this light, but there is now a line across the top of there. Depends how the light hits it as you're looking at it, but you should be able to see a line across there. Now I don't really need to see that line anymore because my punch here, you can see I've got um, uh, five points. Oh, that's gone a little bit stiff as this for some reason. I'll just get that out of there. There we go. Um, five points going through five holes there. Peter Tretz made this for me as well. He's a brilliant engineer that's done some great work for me. Nice little sliders on the end here so that the whole thing fits perfectly. Now what I want to do is line those up, uh, those holes there, or the holes that I'm going to be making, the punch marks basically, with the um, slot that I've already made in there. So if I just, whoops, hang on a second, I could do with oiling this a bit, I actually make it a little bit easier. Slot that into there, now you won't be able to see this, but I can feel exactly where that is sitting now on that line. So once I've got that in position, let's make sure I've got it right, so I've got that in position there, I can then feel that it's not twisting, in other words, it's in that line there exactly where I want it to be. Once it's in there, I can then mark up my piece of work like this with a punch, I'm probably hitting it too many times.